Um, it might be hard to believe that this mess on my desk right now and it extends all the way over here. Uh, that's just one day's of worth of work. Um, completing this cute, adorable little cover, which will probably be a separate video. But I thought I would give you a studio tour while I clean this up and put things away. So first, what you need to know is that my studio is not very big. Okay, so touching the wall here, and my desk is right there. Have you read my shirt yet? So my sister bought this for me. Don't, don't think that I'm cruel. I didn't choose it. My sister did, and I love it. So the blessing of having a small studio, though, is that it forces me to be organized and to keep it neat. Come on. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get this chair out of the way so we have room to work. I also have this rolling cart that I tend to keep projects in off of my desk. It also holds my scanner. I do a lot of archiving of family photos, creating them into digital. Thing is though, uh, it also becomes like a little spot for me to throw a file when I need it. Let's just take this off of here, add it to the pile, and we're gonna wheel this baby out of the way too. All right, so now we have some open space. Okay, beginning of the, the studio tour here, my floating shelves. I can throw up some archive picture of when my husband made these for me. I love that they're floating because you don't have to worry about brackets or angle bars getting in the way. Uh, top shelf stuff, mostly journals. You know, things I don't have to reach for. Wedding picture. And I have my speakers. I got a speaker there and a speaker there, which makes for some good sound in this tiny room. <clears throat> Watercolor supplies. Things like, um, well, wooden craft sticks, floral wire some magnets, some things I don't use that often. Um, <clears throat> things like business cards. This space also is my office, my inbox to handle bills and stuff. Uh, some more journals hiding back there and some adhesive glues and clear coat. All right. This is to remind myself of why I enjoy sharing on YouTube. Sharing my love of journaling and creativity in a way that inspires new ideas, clarity, and a brighter outlook on life for creators and spectators alike. But here we've got my uh, some glitter, stamp pads, Sharpie markers, little doodads. <laughs> Things that make me happy, uh, like this little guy. There's another journal hiding back there. I've got my markers, pencils, my pops of color and alcohol inks, crayons. Another journal, some reference material. Oh, these are journals too. Back here are my uh, the Lindy sprays and acrylics, glues, my magicals, the powders that I use. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, this is a makeshift light. <laughs> it works really well so that I can use it here or if I'm zooming with my family over there, I can clip it over there so it moves around a bit. Uh, but for all my overhead shots, there's my camera. This piece of equipment right here, get my hand out of the way. This was not expensive at all. And it clips onto the shelf and I can pivot it to where I need it. Close that up. 
And that's how you get all those overhead shots when I'm working. I've got my tools right here, hole punches and tweezers and scissors, paper scissors, fabric scissors, little wire cutters and things I might need for uh, adding accents, jewelry accents, little motivational things. My mama, a courtesy pass was from when my dad worked at the drive-in. That's how we met my mom. And uh, where I lived, I used to, where I grew up, I used to have a view of the city. So I just kind of have that there. And look, that's me. <laughs> the frame, right? I did that as an old frame. I put cork port, the cork board in and the pegboard. And just the way the frame was, it holds washi tape. More motivational things. That's from tut. tut.com. Thank you cards. I also created this little area here for my smaller acrylic paints. And papers, which are hanging out now because I was grabbing papers. Alright, well that gives you pretty much that whole wall section. Uh, we'll get to the desk and the filing cabinet. Let me set you up differently. All right, the lighting isn't the best for this, <laughs> but we'll make do, right? Let's start cleaning it off the desk. The filing cabinet over here, filing cabinet, part of my organization is this filing cabinet. Um, all my ephemera and my paper and like this. They all call, um, kept in that filing cabinet. This one frames, right? So if I were to open this up and these orange bits are embossing plates that look like frames. The red little folders, just paper folded in half. Those are all the die cut frames, all right? So there's, from cutting out tags, created a frame. It's stuck to the elastic of, there's another frame from the Peony collection. So I believe over on my desk, I have more frames out I do. So I'll pull out this, use it like a little desk if I have to. Okay. I also did circles yesterday. So there's some stickers. I die cut one out, decided not to use it, but here's my file folder for circles. So anything goes in these folders. At one point I had like rubber stamps someplace else and die cutting things another place. Uh, if I want to circle, they're all in here. So it might be pieces of paper already cut out that I didn't use. I even have some French curves in there with circles in case I want to use it like a stencil. Stickers, die cuts. This is what I need because I have one of these on the desk. So I keep my die cuts in these. They have a little magnet sheet in the back and these clear envelopes. Can you see what I'm doing? In here, I also have paper with like dots and circles. See? All right, let's get that away.
Backgrounds, banners, birds, pink flamingos, birthday, books and bling and borders. All right. Each. So some of these are also in. Get in there. There you go. So where I don't have those file folders, I also have these. <clears throat> I've shown these in another video. Clear envelopes, they were made for binders. But they fit in here in the filing cabinet really well. These don't, the little binder holes don't get in the way. <clears throat> and I just use a posty note on the top. All right, so somewhere in this pile, if you can see, oh, scrapbook.com, you get me all the time. So we have a file for tags. We'll put that off to the side. This is also new from them. That'll go in with flowers. We'll put that off to the side. Um, looking for this guy. And this guy. Right here. Yes, it's part of this. Okay, and you know what else I'm going to throw in here? <clears throat> I didn't use this yesterday because I didn't have the patience. There's something about this paper, this rainbow glitter paper from scrapbook.com. They must have some sort of film over the top to keep the glitter on because no matter how hard. I ran it through the die cutter. It was so, it, it just didn't want to cut. It had to be like peeled. So look at all those dots. I have all the little dots in there. Here's one on paper. See the frame has all these little dots. I was not going to sit there yesterday because it's not a matter of poking them out. They'd have to be peeled out. So maybe someday in the future, I'll have the patience to do that. And this too can be saved. So I'm going to stick it in there in this frame folder and go put that in the filing cabinet. Tools like this, they get stored in my little handmade tool storage. So in order to fit my space, uh, I needed like a custom little brush place to hold my brushes and tools. So I went to my local True Value, which is now an Ace, bought a bunch of yard sticks because they were inexpensive and I cut them down to the size that I needed. Took a little bit of, what is this, chicken wire? And uh, basically just, I think on the inside of the box are like frames, leftover pieces of the yard sticks. I made my own box and put the chicken wire over the top so I can stick my tools in there. Hello. <laughs> okay. This guy has got to be... Yep, it's for the tags. All right, that didn't go too bad. All right, this is a tag. This is a tag. Any other tags? <clears throat> no. Oh, hi kitty. Yes? You want me to stop what I'm doing and feed you? Hmm? 
Weren't you just fed recently? <laughs> that doesn't matter. <laughs> Let's put these in with tags and then we'll go see what she needs. Go ahead, Mama. Show me what you want. Yeah? <laughs> Cute little hiney. <laughs> Come on. You coming up? Yeah. And say hello to everyone. See, we've got food there for you. You know what that means? She wants treats. Mama? Yes. No more treats. All right, where were we? All right, so paper packs, small packs like this, I'm gonna back up. So this desk from here all the way over to here. Again, I have my husband to thank to help build that to my specs. And I based it on my printers. So I have a die sub printer there, a laser printer, and I wanted it wide enough to fit. 12 by 12. So all the Cricut supplies can fit in there. Um, you see me using that paper cutter all the time. It fits perfectly right there next to the die sub printer. When I'm sitting there working, I can just reach for it as well as the crocodile. as well as this sucker to help with binding and hole punching and tags and stuff. And because I don't always use those Cricut supplies, I keep my stickers <laughs> in that bag and it stays right there. That would have to be like a whole nother, <laughs> is a whole nother video plan for my obsession with stickers and how I organize them in this box here. <laughs> but I think that's a whole nother video. <laughs> but what I was getting at was small paper packs. This was not part of the desk that he built that I got from my mom. It's on wheels so I can roll it out, which creates a little extra desk space here when I'm working if I need it. I put a hook on the side and that's where I keep my heat gun, which I use often. But in these drawers here, like the second drawer down, has my small little paper packs. So this little rainbow pack will go there. So this is flowers and this, which is what I use to make the cover of my April journal. Just, um, an old gift bag and that's what I use to cover my April journal which I probably should leave this out because when I make that video I'm going to need it but flowers 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 uh, another I just make that noise because another purchase from scrapbook.com um, flowers now, this has flowers, but it's more blue, so I'll show you where that will go. Mm -hmm. So flowers starts here and has envelopes in it of different... I, flowers is such a big subject, I have things portioned down into smaller packets. Like these are all die cut flowers. There's stickers and like collections is from paper packs. 
So if there was a floral paper pack, I keep them together from the paper pack. <laughs> Foliage is all the greenery. Right, here's a Tim Holtz greenery, scrapbook.com, die cuts, greenery, leaves. Yeah, definitely the whole gardening, outdoor, floral. Here's washi stickers. That takes up the biggest space. Stickers. More die cuts, rubber stamps. Stencils. Back there. Stickers. <laughs> Even more flowers, that says. Sorry, I keep hitting the camera. Oh, these are like silk flowers. Flat silk flowers for journaling. More dyes. Guess I should take the dyes from over there and stick them in there. And flower embossing. There's embossing folders. So, since this is a die, let's stick that back here. And this. Sorry, I keep hitting you. You're along for the ride for sure. My little straps getting away again. Okay, and the rest of this just goes in this flowers one. Oh. Okay. You notice all my butterflies? There's definitely a butterfly theme going on in my studio. Alright, they're all over my filing cabinet. I got them up here on that. <laughs> Even where the door used to be. So there used to be doors here and into the kitchen. I really don't know. I guess this was a pantry or something. But I just took the doors off. Okay, where were we? Still cleaning off the desk. Again, this would go really fast, except that I'm taking the time to share the moment with you. <laughs> All right. Lined paper has a special home because all these little scraps work awesome in my journal. You never know when you might need a piece like that. So there's an entire white clear envelope with just all kinds of lined paper. Okay. My distress oxides. Okay, we're going to turn around now. Let's tilt you up right there. Yeah, so on all my distress oxides, I took white ink. So they get stacked. This thing came from Hobby Lobby. I don't, these are the only wood block stamps I own. I don't own any others because they're a pain in the neck to store. So they're just on display there. I love this. Can you see this? Do you see emptiness or possibilities? I don't know what that ad was for in a magazine, but it just spoke to me, right? So, um, oh, I lied. There's the rest of my block stamps. A little date stamper, distress glaze, just cute little things. Spreader, more distress, embossing ink, and then a bunch of Opal Magic by Prima. Some more Distress Inks, more Opal Magic, my Sculpture Medium. I'm into crystals, if nobody noticed. There's some embossing powder. Uh, 
uh, the things to clean your glasses. <laughs> I have a little stash of them here, along with my Amazonite crystal. My sewing machine oil, magnifying glass. This little tool helps you emboss. I know the lighting here is awful, but more distressed products, distress resist spray, alcohol blending solution, and a big jug of gold acrylic because that's where it fit. I love these little niche kind of storage spaces because they're flat line against the wall and I have fabrics, little birdie display, little cute things, uh, my embossing powders, some glitter. Oh, I guess I really did lie. There's more block rubber stamps, just circles, and some selenite crystal. Just cute little, little kitty cat, little ducky, little bunny in there. Dream on, wild thing. Just little sketches of Tweety Bird. Look at this cute. I just got this from my sister. There's a name for that. Quilling. It's a quilled cardinal. I stuck him in. Oh no, am I showing you my wall? I'm distracting myself from cleaning up. I have another quilled card. I think I missed this shelf before because it has my watercolor markers. I really don't use these as much as I thought I would. This little storage stapler remover, my erasers, pencil sharpener. I've got um, binder rings, paper clips. If you see in the corner there, there was another quilled card from my friend Lisa. I love keeping it out all year where I can see it. You rock. I love the whole apothecary kind of genre is not the word I'm looking for. Aesthetic. Uh, so I have some essential oils up there. I have some dried flowers. I don't use them for anything, but I love how they look here. Um, lavender in a little bottle. That little tiny cuckoo clock, I grew up with that in my house. I had to keep it. The key for it, I have it. It's on the back, but I don't wind it up or anything, but it's just very cute. All right, guys, we're not cleaning. We got little bits here. So this is what's left over. All the little dots from inside of here. You know, part of me thinks, oh, maybe I should keep these for like confetti. But you know what? They're only one-sided. I, I can't, there gets to a point where I will not keep everything. So I think I've decided these are going. Yeah, I know. Uh-uh, they gotta go. This little stuff right here. I'm going to whoop, come on over. This stuff here. More sentiments. There's some flea market little stickers. These are all things that I want to use up, like within my next couple of journals. Next couple, like the next one. This stuff. I'm going to back you up a little bit. Okay. Backing you out. All right. This table is a recent addition. It needs to be clear. That's the promise that I kept to myself. So if I'm using it during a project, it can get full. But otherwise, if I'm not working a project, that better be empty. So we didn't get there yet, but again, it's a portable thing. It can move. I'm moving it so I can show you these two drawers. The very bottom drawer 
is where I keep things like, let's zoom back in um, and bring you down. Whee! Notebooks, pads, ledgers, all things that can be used as lines in journal, sketchbooks, let's see, more ledgers. They work well in junk journals. Lettering paper, it's got dots on it. That can be used to make journals. Then I have uh, cardstock and copy paper, bright white, 24 pound, laser paper, labels, photo paper, which I use all the time. There's some canvas paper, labels, labels, crack and peel, labels, labels. <laughs> so when I tell you I don't need more stuff, I'm not kidding. Ah, but I opened this up because in the front here, I keep a stash of these clear envelopes. And I want... Ooh, ASMR. I want one of these because we're going to take this, come back over here. Let's lift you up. All this little stuff that I want to use up in my next journal is going to go in there where my inkjet printer is and my other stash of stickers right behind there. This is where I keep the things. Uh, so anything for May right now, because the May journal is what I'll be working on next, goes in here. So it's off the desk. So this envelope with all that stuff can go in there, seal it. But I, I keep these unless they're in really bad shape. There's one here as well. And we got to drop down under my desk where I keep my Sizzix. And under here, we're going to need this in a second. This box is all shapes and sizes. Where are you? All shapes and sizes of these guys. Other things down there, uh, there's a surplus of Aileen's glue because it's my favorite. There's my uh, matte gels and my cloud whip and just a container to mix glue in. Um, that's more gel back there. Surplus. Now this, for all my diamond dots, lovers. They would be familiar with this kit. I don't use it for diamond dots. <laughs> ah! A new thing that I love are these die cuts for whole reinforcements. Because <laughs> Oh, it always opens a can of worms, doesn't it? But the other thing I enjoy doing, it's another journal. It's a journal that, a ring bound journal. And I'm playing around with this, creating some fun stuff here. And, what's her name? It's Elizabeth Craft Designs. They're planner essential dies. Oops. So I have them all on a ring. See how they're all different sizes, uh, shapes, flowers, sprockets, regular holes. And then you get to the bigger ones. Uh, those are onesies, scissors, coffee mugs. I think 
think those are supposed to be like diamond gems, crowns. I think those are trees, not sure. Clouds. <laughs> now, why did I bring these out? Because I cut a couple. And, oh good, I do. Right, these are the same. Yep, so these extra ones are going to go right in there. Why am I keeping it? Because it's a cardstock and it's got the graph on it. I can probably do this. Yeah, we're getting to this now. Here, graph paper. Of course I do. Graph and ledger paper. That's where the other Elizabeth designs. By the way, that's the question you should ask yourself is where would I look for this or where would I find it when you're organizing? Best question to ask yourself. We're going to come back to this now because on the desk is some papers that we're going to do by color. So the bottom drawer here are all my plain colored papers. So blues, if it's an eight and a half by 11, it gets its own file folder, but blue. These are all blue scraps. Hmm, that's almost green. Let's see, so there's green. Oh, it's a cross between. It can live in blue. I'll allow it. This is lavender. So, let's see, purples. There's all my purple scraps. Purple, there's silver and gray. And of course it goes by the rainbow, right? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, purple, <laughs> violet. Um, and then I do my silvers, grays, blacks in the back. Whites are to the front. Cardstock. When I'm making my journal covers, those upcycled cardstock chipboards from the cat food. There and there. Look at that. Yes. Let me just tidy up. I don't like the way these are hanging out. These for the most part. For the most part, I say, are by rainbow order and then collections. The reds, the oranges, the yellows, the greens, the blues, and then there's keeping collections together. It's all scrapbook paper. Yep. So the laptop connected to the Wacom tablet which is, you know, a pen. I can use the pen tablet and the extra monitor. So when I have the laptop open, it's a continuous flow of the three screens, which is great when I'm doing my videos because I can edit the timeline of my videos there, look at all the assets for my videos there and see the outcome up there. So for those of you who don't know, Assets are all the videos that I shot and the audio that goes with them. The timeline is where I create the video into what you see at the end in YouTube. And there is the actual video of what I'm working out on the timeline. So it's very convenient for me to have three screens as opposed to if I was doing this maybe outside without all these other things having to fit all that information just on my laptop screen. It can be done, but boy, is this a lot easier. There is a mask that I created 
on top of another nook where I keep wax seals and a Tigger doll, because why wouldn't you? So when I'm doing wax seals, they're up there and the old spice drawers hold um, some tags and some other ephemera. Let's see. This was a yard sale haul. It came in a big box similar to like those cubbies that I'm talking about, really flat and it was huge. And each one of the cubbies had a different color. There's like a tag in there. There's letter stickers, buttons, different shape brads, frames. Oh my God, what a fun find that was. And sometimes I just keep the drawers open a little bit to show off some tags. Right. You know, when I make things, I don't always want them away in a journal. I keep them out where I can see them and stay motivated. It's one of my favorite ones right there. Using up numbers there. So remember in my um, yard sale haul, I got these Courier and Ives prints. Down in that corner, that too, again, thank God for my husband, there was a gap between my desk and the wall. So I asked him to make that custom little table and shelf to fit right in there. I am blessed. I am, where are you? I am truly blessed to have my husband who's a craftsman. Honestly, I don't take that for granted. All right, but down, down there, I have a binder that I call like a lookbook. But in here, I have some vintage, vintage plates. And I know these get used to make junk journals. I haven't had the heart to do it yet because these are authentically old. They're not like something that was scanned in a computer and reprinted. So they wound up here in this lookbook. Well, there you have it guys. My clean studio. The desk is all set and ready to do the video about the April cover. Everything's all neat and tidy. Table is clear. Everything's put away. So you really have to know your craft, right? And what kind of space you'll need for your craft. And once you've established that, and you found your space, you have to make it your own. This happened over time. <laughs> but everything has its space and everything is in its space. So it's allowed to get cluttered during the whole project phase and cleaning up doesn't take long because everything has a home. And give your space personality you know, like my little branches and birds and butterflies. It just gives my space, it's a little bit of personality. It's someplace I wanna be. And because it's situated right next to like the kitchen and my living area, I get to walk through it often. But that's just the way the layout of the house worked. It's not something I planned, but it worked for me. This crazy little room, whatever it was, with two doors. I, I don't know. Maybe back in the day it was for where the crib went for the baby. I don't know. <laughs> and finding a space for everything is organic, right? Where something may have worked for me before and it doesn't work for me now, you find where it will work. And you want to make use of companies who create organizational things you know, to hold the stamp pads, to hold the markers, to hold the inks. 
without that stuff it would just be boxes or baskets full of stuff and I love having my things in rainbow order make use of flat cubbies when you're limited in space but you have some walls you can work with those are great for your small items thanks for spending time with me guys thanks for helping me clean my studio space and I'm gonna get on making that other video Thanks, guys. Bye.